I have some myself. Uh, but we kind of structured it so every candidate gets the same opportunities. We can say, you know, the same amount of time and answer the same questions. Um, and I think that's really kind of only fair to get them all the same. And I, I, it's a great suggestion. I guess now, now that you've got your nose under the tent, you're going to get to the, ask that again for the other three. Okay. Well, um, here, here, here. But, but we do need to be somewhat disciplined about being absolutely fair to each of the four candidates, okay? Um, I, I think we have, I'm sorry? How, how do you ask the question? How is it possible to get the question asked? I have a uh, I think that probably practically everybody in the room has questions. The, the reason we structured it this way is that so everybody, first of all, there's not a, there's a very limited amount of time. And we want to get all four candidates and give them exactly the same uh, set of questions. And, and I understand that many of us have questions. I, I do too have questions that we would like to have answered, but these are the ones that were put together by the Veterans Affairs Commission, of which there's some commissioners here today, um, and they're the ones that we need to kind of stick to. So I apologize, it's not, an, it's not an open forum. Um, it, it, if you thought that's what it was, I'm sorry, we, we're not going to have time for that. Um, now, if you want to if you want to go outside and bulldog the, uh, the candidate after they leave, go right ahead. So, um, if we have, I think we, the next candidate, Jane Kim, has not shown up yet. Uh, so we have a little public service announcement on the issue of uh, ranked choice voting. I'll pass those out while you speak. So you just have a couple of minutes. So for those of you that do not understand ranked choice voting, uh, Fair Vote California, Mr. Pedro Hernandez here, uh, has uh, some, uh, some information for you on how you should uh, approach the ballot. Uh, next week. <laughs> all right. Uh, I think all of these. All right. Can you all hear me okay? Yeah. yeah. Great. Um, my name is Pedro Hernandez. I'm the Deputy Director of Federal California. We're an electoral reform organization based in San Francisco. Uh, we're a project of Fair Vote National that has pioneered and worked on issues like the National popular vote, universal registration, our platform issue is ranked choice voting. San Francisco uses ranked choice voting to elect uh, the mayor and board of supervisors and other offices. Um, it's been here since 2004 and it essentially eliminates the need for a runoff election. Uh, ranked choice voting has also been used for overseas military workers from other states because oftentimes those voters return for a runoff, so they gave them a ranked ballot. Essentially, it works like this. San Francisco voters will have a ballot with three columns where they can indicate their first choice, a second choice, and a third choice. Your first choice should be your favorite choice, someone that you most believe in. Then you can have a second choice, which is someone you like, and your third choice could be someone you can live with. <laughs> The Department of Elections will count everyone's first choices. If a candidate has 50% plus one of first choice votes, they win and it's over. But if no candidate has 50% plus one of votes, the candidate that comes in last is dropped and the votes for that candidate go to um, the number two choices of those voters. So I'll say it again. The candidate that comes in last is dropped and the votes for that candidate go to the voters' number two choices. And then they count again to see if someone has 50% plus one. If not, you repeat that process looking at the number two or number three choices that are left available. Um, it used to be the case that only three in five voters would return to the December runoff in San Francisco when we had December runoffs. With ranked choice voting, we've seen close to 87% of votes' choices count in that final round. So that is a lot more representative of the electorate. We're looking to have it, so make sure to rank your ballot. Mark in the same ballot, three, make, mark in the same candidate three times. Um, doesn't help you because your vote will only be counted once for that candidate. <laughs> only, indi only indicating one choice um, also doesn't help your first choice because your number two or number three choice will only be counted if your first choice is defeated. So it's really important that you rank your ballot and make sure that your vote is heard. 
Uh, thank you so much for being here. What a great showing of folks who really care about our city. Um, I'm happy to answer questions on the way out. We also have some hand sanitizers and other swag that we have at the door and some more literature if you need it in Spanish and some uh, ballot guides as well. Thank you so much.